All right, update number two for the buggy. The last time you saw that my steering was jacked up, I had a reverse steering because I had the steering rack mounted behind the spindles. But now I got it mounted in front. And we zoom in on the spindles. You can see I had to uh, redo my spindle tabs there, and I had to put a little uh, little L-shaped kind of there so my Ackerman would be correct. What I did is I took the spindle off the left wheel and put it on the right and vice versa and uh, mounted my steering rack and when I did I had reverse Ackerman because this point here was actually here and uh, it didn't work out for my Ackerman so I had to redo that because I did front mounted. Uh, what I did is I built a one inch square tube frame. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. I got tabs coming off of that and my steering rack is bolted to that and that frame is held go on the side here that frame is basically bolted there and up there you can see through the wheel uh, and remember there's steel pipe going through there through this PVC so it's actually bolted to that as well so my steering is correct now I got my Ackerman correct uh, little, uh, I guess it's called kingpin inclination is uh, going back. I don't know. I, I don't know how you determine it. Is it positive, negative, whatever? I got my Ackerman correct, um, and those spindles got a little bit of camber. So all kinds of steering geometry going on there. Got the motor mounted. Uh, Got my chains done, got my jack shaft done. Um, starting on the electrical for the motor, I decided to just put this little plate over here. I had some scrap aluminum plate and I mounted all my electronics. So starting from the left to right, the left one's a coil, the next one is a CDI, the middle one's the control box, which has got like a, a little antenna on it for remote on and off. Remember, this engine came out of a four wheeler, a little Chinese four wheeler, so. I don't have those electronics and everything, but I think I need that box installed for this thing to run. Then you got your voltage regulator, and then I got my uh, solenoid. So I wired it all up. Uh, wires are just a mess right now. I'll clean that up later. Hooked up the battery, and I was able to turn it over okay. I don't have any oil or gasoline hooked up to the thing, so I can't really start it to see if it runs. But uh, there she is. I'm starting on my cover for the engine, or where the seat's going. What I got here is a piece of PVC going across, and these tabs here, they're just slip fitting. So I'll put a piece of PVC in there, which will run all the way to that side. And basically, what you'll have is is a lid once I get the other pieces in. And I'll have some support in the middle because there's going to be people sitting on it, obviously. Okay, next time you see it, I'll hope to have the engine cover done and a steering wheel. And uh, after that, I'll work on the brakes and take this thing for a test drive. I'm excited. So uh, that's it for now. Tune in next time.